you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut up! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could've done with some bellboys, but uh, hey, can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy though. I mean, it's just really weird being back here. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off Relax. already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, coaches, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Nobody likes cold buns. Hmm. Well, well, 
well, we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class you mean Jim yeah you know with the climbing up the rope whoa did I do that I, I don't think so here use this whoa Chris I just got an awesome idea yeah totally well, what, what is it okay so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. What was that? Oh. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. 
Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his move. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? I am. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you, too. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. <sighs> Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, 
Can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Ugh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Hey, Hot Lips, photo booth. All right, read my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Ah, uh, yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. Uh, yeah. How's it my fault? She doesn't understand what beat it you skank means. <laughs> yeah, like a crack a dictionary much, Biatch? Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard!
Shazam! The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> Yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. wax music. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! <sighs> hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. I'm okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. He's giving me the willies, and not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. This is like historical. Holy bat cave. 
He's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Fixer rubber. Finally, a little ray of hope. Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, you take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Hey, Jess? Mm hmm Stay close by, okay? What's that? Oh, uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Answering his meeting. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be.
Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. crazy place we used to have a spirit board a what wow you have a spirit board those things are a joke man they don't do shit no way bro i mean we used to do it all the time me and well josh no hot water's kind of major oversight don't you think yeah yeah you just gotta fire up the boiler it's in the basement all right you guys see if you can find the spirit board chris let's go find it it'll be like a scavenger hunt um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs>
you know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality, right, Sam? Anyway. I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. better than that to freak me out, all right? Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? Josh. What? The person is like, weirdly regular. Not, not, nothing regular about it. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. 
Yeah, right. not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just... Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. to understand your feelings toward people of fear, the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? And how do you feel about people who are afraid? Well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Yeah. Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. 